presentation again, you'll have access to that. Soon you will meet members of our kindergarten team who are gonna lead you through our presentation. Before I introduce them, I want to provide you with a little information about our school. Our school is 16 years old and I've been here for the past 11 years. We have an awesome staff that is here to partner with you and to provide a wonderful nurturing and learn learning environment for your child. Although our building is huge when you drive by in size, it is, we do have a very small town feel here with about 529 students enrolled pre-kindergarten pre through fifth grade. We have a very active involved PTA who works tirelessly to support our students and our staff. Each of our grade level teams has about four to five teachers and they are housed in the same hallways together, so they really work well together um, providing instruction for our students. <clears throat> we have one and a half counselors. We have a family specialist, a school nurse, a librarian. We have spe a special education team. We have a friendly and very helpful front office staff. And then I also have my awesome sidekick and my, my assistant principal, Sandy Van Horn, who I'd like to introduce to you now. y'all, it's very nice to meet you. I'm so glad that we have so many parents here. Prob I recognize a few faces already. Um, thank you for joining us today, and I hope you get a lot out of this meeting. Thank you, Ms. Van Horn. Tonight, we will learn about being a leader on me campus and our mission statement, lead the change you want to see in the world. You will also hear about some of our other programs and opportunities for your child. I know you have many questions about our safety protocols. Our district has implemented a comprehensive safety plan for our staff and our students, and we continue to be proactive and practice these protocols because we know it makes a difference when our students can be learning face-to-face -face with a highly qualified certified teacher. Tonight, you will see pictures of students and activities prior to COVID-19, and also pictures of how our students are uh, still learning here at Canyon Ridge, uh, practicing these protocols during these unprecedented times. We know you have a choice in where your child attends school, and we feel that Canyon Ridge is the best. At this time, I'd like to introduce you to our kindergarten team. Mrs. Jennifer Robledo is our GLC. Mrs. Quay, Ms. Black, and Ms. Orth are also part of our team. And now they're going to share more with you about kindergarten. I hope you enjoy our presentation and have a good evening. Ms. Robledo? Take it away. Thank you, Ms. Huggins. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, I first just want to begin by um, thanking everyone for coming and just letting you know that um, the kinder team, we are used to speaking to um, five and six year olds. So we're a little nervous. So please forgive us if we happen to stumble over our words. Um, but we're so glad that you are here to join us. I am going to share my screen so that you can see our um, the great things that we have here at Canyon Ridge. There will be an opportunity at the end um, if you have any questions. Sorry. There will be an opportunity at the end if you have any questions that you can submit. So there will be a time at least for that. Um, you have already met our um, great principal, Mrs. Huggins. This is a picture of her. Um, and she introduced herself to you. This is our leadership team. Uh, Mrs. Van Horn is our assistant principal. Uh, we have two counselors, Ms. Bacon. She is our full-time counselor here at um, Canyon Ridge. And then we have Mrs. Hart, who's our half-time counselor at Canyon Ridge. Um, Mrs. Hart um, comes into the kindergarten classrooms um, when she's able to, and she will do lessons such as um, kindness to others, or even things such as um, working out problems. So um, we're very grateful for our counselors here. 
These are some faces that you may see around our school. Um, the front office, we have Mrs. Langford. She's the um, administrative, I mean, the secretary to the principal. Um, Ms. McNeil is the data processor and Ms. Adams is in the front office. You will see these ladies a lot. Some of you um, may know them already. The clinic, we have um, our nurse, Mrs. Williams and her assistant, Ms. Monreal. Here is um, another picture of our kinder team. Um, I'm Ms. Robledo, we have Ms. Orth, Ms. Quay, and Ms. Black. So I'm going to talk about what a possible day in kindergarten would look like. So here's just an example of our schedule. So our language arts time, as you can see, takes place during the morning. And our math, science, and social studies takes place in the afternoon half of our day. We do have a 30-minute lunch and recess time. And students also attend links each day for about 50 minutes. And I will talk about links a little bit more um, in this presentation. Next slide, please. So our language arts consist of literacy, writing, and phonics. We work on comprehension skills, reading strategies, and writing skills as well. We work on phonological and phonemic awareness, mainly during our phonics time, which is where we work on skills like letter identification and sound recognition, rhyming words, compound words, and other basic language and reading skills. Next slide, please. So here's some pictures of examples of what you might see in writer's workshop. So the picture on the left is an example of some of the writing you may see from your child. Um, and the picture on the right is a book from our phonics curriculum. And this is the books we use to work on our letter sounds, our writing, writing our letters and beginning reading skills. Next slide, please. Um, these are also some more pictures so you can see what our writing time looks like. Kids work individually and on the picture to the right is an example of a student just working on those phonics skills and just reinforcing those skills that they learned during our Super Kids Phonics time. And these two pictures are from our daily five and daily five time is used to reinforce those language art skills that I talked about. And during this time, we also integrate technology um, to help reinforce again those early reading skills. Okay, hi, I'm Miss Black and I'm going to talk a little bit about math. Um, so math in kindergarten looks like numbers and operations. So counting, um, we want to count up to 100 and be able to recognize uh, numbers 1 through 20 by the end of kinder. We work on measurement, data analysis, and algebraic reasoning. Um, that sounds really fancy, but really we're just focusing on graphing. They're learning how to look at a graph, gain information from it, and things like that. So very basic level, um, nothing too crazy. Personal finance and money, we learn about coins, um, how we make money, why it's important, things like that. Numbers and operations, composing and decomposing numbers. So putting numbers together and taking numbers apart. Geometry, we learn about our shapes. Numbers and operations, um, again, we do addition and subtraction. And then problem solving. We work on a problem of the week every week um, where the kids can really get that word problem um, so where they're mixing literacy and math together. I'll show some examples of things that we do in math. Um, composing and decomposing is the picture on the left. So um, showing five and five put together makes 10. We do activities like that in capacity um, with measurement. So that was where they uh, probably predicted. So they estimated how many they could fit inside their hand. Then they grabbed some cubes and then actually saw how many they could really fit inside their hand. And these are math stations. So just like we have literacy stations, we also take time to reinforce those math skills that are taught. Um, so building, looking at shapes, 
seeing what they can do, putting them together. Uh, the picture on the left can, is counting. We like to use those cubes a lot, hands-on, um, for the kindergarten students. Uh, we find it very beneficial for them to use things um, like manipulatives when teaching math. Okay, and I'm going to be talking about social studies. So in social studies, one of the things we like to touch on is citizenship and economics. So um, how to be a community and how to be a helper in the community and, um, you know, talking about our authority figures, how to respect the authority figures, you know, the cops, um, nurses, doctors. So and then also we have we talk about our basic human needs. And um, we do talk about different cultures around the world, customs and traditions. Um, we also did a really fun holidays around the world. And we talked about all the different cultures and the kids really love that. Um, that's always a big hit. We do a lot of fun activities with that. We do talk about historical concepts. So historical figures and presidents, um, national holidays and symbols like MLK Day. We did do um, touch on that a little bit as well the flag, the Pledge of Allegiance, of course, and then uh, my place in the world. We are currently talking about maps and globes, and we do get to do a lot of fun things like making a map of the classroom and the playground, and the kids uh, have a lot of fun with it, and also comparing the past and the present as well. So these are a couple of pictures. So this is, of course, um, MLK Day, so I have a dream. And then we were able to make some activities with that. And then also different seasons of the year right here. So this is part of our cultures and um, the customs and traditions. So obviously this is pre-COVID. Um, this is our Thanksgiving feast that we did have where, you know, they got to wear little Indian and pilgrim hats. And we learned all about, you know, um, uh, the first Thanksgiving, so they had a lot of fun with that. And then also our different seasons. So in science, we like to touch on our five senses, of course. Taking care of the earth, we talk about, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle, and what that looks like. We try to implement that here in the classroom as well. And then rocks, soil, and water. Um, we just got done doing that, and the kids had a blast. Um, the next slide will show a couple pictures of some of the things we've done. But, you know, with stuff like this, we try to get the kids outside, you know, get them some fresh air. And looking at, you know, the rocks, the soil, the water, all of the environment around us, they do have a lot of fun with that. And then the plants and the life cycles, we'll be doing some fun activities with that as well. Um, animals and their needs. And of course, seasons and weather. Um, but yeah, we just try to get the kids. We do um, our, we try to do a like science experiment um, at least a couple or once every other couple weeks. So the kids really seem to enjoy that as well. So right here for the plant units, um, we did uh, make some plants. We grew some plants right here. And then we also painted our pet rocks. So for our natural resource units, we were able to um, have the kids paint a rock, and they love this. They get to paint a rock, and they get to put some googly eyes on it, a little nose, and then they get to name it. And at the end of our rock um, lesson, they, they love that. That's always a big hit. And us teachers like to make one, too. We want our own pet rocks. And then, of course, we have all of our science and safety equipment. So we do learn that as well, how to be safe in the science lab. And then right here, we have a kid looking at our rock, our rocks. And um, yeah, they, we just got done with that lesson, and they really enjoyed that. OK, I am going to be talking about a really big push that we have in NEISD, which is um, STEAM which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. Um, we have noticed that as our, we're going forward into the future, a lot more jobs are technology-based and critical thinking-based and data analysis and things like that that are being offered. And I know we're thinking they're in kindergarten. Why are we thinking about their job? But it is important to start 
um, from the beginning. So we really like to have them start doing that critical thinking and outside of the box thinking. Um, it's also a great way when students maybe have a hard time showing what they know on pen and paper, then they are able to express themselves in a different way. So building, um, talking it through, making a model, a different way where they cannot truly show us what they really do know. Uh, we think it's a great way to prepare our students for the future, especially in elementary, and just get them really um, on a good foundation of knowing how to use critical thinking skills at a young age. Um, here's some examples of some scenes that we've done. Uh, last year, we had them make um, a little Valentine's basket that would hold their hearts. And the way that they had to critically think was they could, they could make it out of certain materials, so they get to choose. So they have to think which is going to hold the best, which is going to um, be able to hold the amount that we tell them they need to hold. So really just problem solving skills um, starting at a young age. Uh, we also have obviously pre-COVID was our STEAM lab uh, where the students got to build together. We have incorporated STEAM still um, during COVID. Kids just get like their own materials instead of actually getting to work maybe all together um, hands on. They would get their own materials and still work together uh, talking instead of building together, right? building their own model. And then we have a few more examples. This is five little pumpkins sitting on a gate pre-COVID, um, but they had to come up with another material where they could hold their five pumpkins. So obviously one group chose to do it with the wood blocks and then another group chose cubes, but it's just really good to get the kids talking, working together, thinking of different ways um, that they could put something together instead of just you know, handing it to them and saying, do this, you know, it's really awesome to see what the kids come up with. Next thing we're going to start talking about is a little bit of the extracurricular activities that we have or during the day activities that they can do. Um, we have our wonderful library. Um, this is our librarian, Ms. Gleisner, and she has an awesome selection of books. She's been doing a wonderful job um, during these times getting the kids the books that they um, want, coming to the classrooms, visiting on Zoom, things like that. So she's set up a really awesome way for the kids to still feel like they are getting to be involved in uh, library activities. But we have a wonderful library here at Canyon Ridge. So I'm going to talk about links, which I mentioned earlier. It's 50 minutes of the day and they visit PE every single day and alternate between art and music. And this is a picture of our two awesome coaches and a picture of what you might see during PE time. This is art. This is Miss Alvarez. And Lynx is one of the, sorry, art is one of the classes that they will visit during Lynx and it alternates. So on Mondays, they may go to art, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and here they learn about different artists, elements of art, and even um, hand-eye coordination. And the last links class that we have is music. And this one, they also alternate between uh, music and art. And here they just learn different songs as well as, as well as rhythm and sounds. All right, and I'm going to be talking about um, a really big program that we love here at Canyon Ridge. It's called Leader in Me. Um, we love to instill leadership skills in students here. We want them to take the lead, to show us what they can do, because um, kids are amazing. And when you allow them that ability to lead, they will really show you some awesome things. So we have things called Synergy Rallies, where we come together every um, nine weeks and we get to do some celebrations talk about um, the leaders on our campus with something called Coyote Character. You can see a picture of those students holding their Coyote Character Awards, um, which goes to a student in each class every nine weeks who just shows our seven habits uh, very well, which those seven habits are on that tree. Um, they're just really good habits of um, being kind and considerate, showing how we can be leaders in our world today. Um, a lot of good things that we really need during these times when they can be a little bit difficult. Um, the kids are learning how to be um, awesome leaders here at Canyon Ridge.
So I'm going to be talking about the helpful skills and how to prepare your kindergartner. So if you've been thinking about some of the things like how do I help them, you know, so when they get into kindergarten, they're not behind or they're caught up. So we have made some bullet points and some of them are practice writing their first name. So just over and over again, have them practice that recognizing and writing capital and lowercase letters. So maybe with some flashcards, you can even make it, we try to make it fun around here, of course, by doing some kind of game. You can make a game with it. Um, identifying letter sounds is a big one too. There's lots of, you can you know, do YouTube videos of, you know, our, one of our favorites is Jack Hartman. I mean, just any kind of alphabet songs um, to help them with the sounds. So rhymes and blending word parts and phonemes. So reading daily and asking questions before, during, and after the story. This is very, very important. It really helps so much um, with their learning here in class. If they've been reading and they've been seeing the text and how it goes and the words, it is very helpful. And then read, write, and represent numbers 1 through 20. So I know that Darian touched on this. That's also very important. Um, you know, writing their numbers the correct way and and then also counting from one to 100, that's one of our end of the year goals as well. So these are definitely skills to really hone in on to you know, help prepare your kindergartner. We have a message from our superintendent, our superintendent Dr. Micah, that we would like to share with you. North ISD is all about opportunity. From pre-K through high school, you have options. Our commitment to be the best means that we work hard to provide more opportunities than you'll find anywhere else in the state. To start, NEISD offers high quality, full day pre-K programs. We are very proud to have a pre-K academy at West Avenue that serves close to 400 young preschoolers. In addition, we offer free and tuition-based pre-K classrooms at 33 elementary campuses. Our talented teachers are here to increase kindergarten readiness, improve emotional learning, promote brain development, and vocabulary. The NEISD Kindergarten Program provides children with a positive, social-emotional learning environment. Students build positive relationships with peers and teachers and learn valuable study habits, all while establishing a strong academic foundation for the future. You can also choose to take advantage of our dual language program. Native English and native Spanish speaking students learn side by side to be biliterate, bicultural, and bilingual. Students receive the majority of their instruction in Spanish in the primary grades. And the use of English increases gradually each year all the way to graduation. NEISD also offers a wide variety of support services that start on day one of enrollment. Kids Involvement Network, or KIN, is a nationally recognized after school program with sites at every elementary and middle school campus. Our school nutrition services is state and nationally recognized and believes in a strong relationship between nutrition and learning. For students who live two miles or more from their assigned campus, the district transportation department provides safe transport to and from school every day. These elementary years are critical to the secondary part of education, where a whole new world of opportunities opens up in middle and high school. There are hundreds of options beyond English, math, science, and social studies, including our gifted and talented advanced placement, and dual credit programs. Remember, Northeast ISD is all about choices. When your child is ready to suit up and take the field, NEISD offers competitive athletic programs in individual and team sports. Our inclusive program is open to all students and features highly trained coaches and state-of-the-art award-winning facilities to maximize each student's experience and potential. Our JROTC program focuses on character and leadership development with three pillars, academic, extracurricular, and community service. JROTC thrives on a team-oriented environment to prepare each cadet for a variety of futures, including college, career, and public service. If your child chooses a fine arts path, Northeast ISD has several programs to ignite their passion. Students will find creative opportunities to succeed in visual arts, graphic design, band, orchestra, choir, theater, speech and debate, journalism, dance and cheer. If that's not enough, NEISD offers more than 150 course options under the Career and Technical Education umbrella. 
These programs are located across all high school campuses and allow students with specific interests like public services or STEM to get a jump on college and career goals by earning college credit and industry certifications before they graduate. NEISD offers 14 magnet programs and two dedicated magnet schools. In three of our middle schools, you'll find programs that focus on science, technology, engineering and math, computer science, and rocketry. Fields of study at our high school campuses include agri-science, fine arts, automotive and diesel technology, cybersecurity and coding, construction trades, and medical professions, just to name a few. As you can see, Northeast ISD is extremely proud of the opportunities we offer. We are dedicated to providing a well-rounded education to every student who walks through our doors, onto our fields, and into our hearts. Get ready to rediscover all that NEISD has to offer. Registration opens January 26th. Okay. We have a, another video for the dual language information. Are you looking for a program that can give your child an advantage today academically and greater opportunity in the workforce tomorrow? ¿Por qué no? No need to look any further. The Northeast ISD Dual Language Program is the largest program of its kind in San Antonio. With over 20 years of experience, we've built one of the most comprehensive programs with 22 participating campuses and instruction from pre-K through high school. Today, the Northeast Dual Language Program instructs approximately 6,000 students. As a public school, we have a lot more resources, and I think that's opened a lot more doors for her to have those the different resources that NEISD has. I didn't want to sacrifice academics for language, and I didn't have to with NEISD. To have everybody have the opportunity to speak and learn without any inhibitions at a very early age, it's, it's fabulous. The purpose of dual language program is to provide an opportunity for students to acquire a second language while maintaining their home language. The native language and culture of each student is valued and treated equitably, promoting positive self-esteem and cross-cultural appreciation. ¿Por qué no? Instructing English and Spanish speakers together in the same setting creates bilingual, biliterate, and bicultural citizens that routinely score higher academically. In fact, according to research, done by Dr. Wayne Thomas and Dr. Virginia Collier. Dual language participants reach higher levels of achievement, outperforming ELL students in other types of bilingual ESL programs. In Northeast ISD, the dual language program is an enrichment additive bilingual educational model. It begins in pre-K with 90% of instruction in Spanish. As students move up in grade level, Spanish instruction decreases gradually. By fourth grade, instruction is 50% Spanish and 50% English. Una niña en segundo grado, eh, mi, el proceso que ha sido de bilingüe estábamos un poquito nerviosos porque no sabíamos cómo ellos se iban a acomodar, uh, pero gracias a las profesoras que tenemos, los niños, eh, Siena, mi, la, la, la más grandecita que tengo, ha, ha mejorado tanto con el español. Northeast ISD's dual language program empowers and develops bilingual, biliterate, and bicultural citizens. Being bilingual, that'll just open up more doors for them financially, educationally, professionally, like they can kind of travel the world and have the world open up to them just because they know they had this little start in elementary school. We have what you're looking for. It's right here in your community the Northeast ISD Dual Language Program. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me try to get out of here. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So registration is currently open online. If you would like to register your child, you are welcome to visit the neisd.net forward slash Canyon Ridge website. You will find a link to where you can register online where you will do birth certificates, um, any shot records, everything will be done online this year. Um, our Canyon Ridge office hours are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. 
questions, we have a Google Doc that you will see that pops up in the chat. You are more than welcome to click on that. Um, if you have any questions about what you've seen this evening, we are more than happy to um, answer those questions. Well, we'd like to thank you for joining us. Um, but please feel free to contact us on our website, the neic.net slash Canyon Ridge website. Um, all of our emails are on there. Please feel free to email any of us, or you can also call the front office at 210-407-1600. Um, we thank you for joining us, and please, if you have any questions at all, please click on the link in the chat um, to submit those questions. Thank you, Ms. Robledo. Thank you, parents, for joining us. Again, that uh, those questions will be also linked and uh, the question answers will be linked on our website so that if you weren't able to post your questions in the chat tonight, you'll be able to do those, um, uh, go to the website. And again, feel free to call our front office. We are here to help you. And we hope that you um, consider Canyon Ridge as your school of choice for kindergarten.